A family I know was shaken to the core when the wife found out that her husband was having an affair. The wife was deeply hurt. The children were very angry and started to rebel. And the couple came very close to breaking up. If not for the intervention of friends, the family would not have survived. And it may take a few years for the deep wounds that the infidelity caused to heal. I wish this situation comes few and far between, but unfortunately, the cases of infidelity and adultery seems to have become widespread. It's almost like infidelity among married people has become the new normal, which I feel is a very tragic situation. Adultery, pangangalunya, is one of the worst things that can happen to a marriage. It violates everything that the husband and wife had built together as a couple. Many who had been victims to adulterous affairs say they did not see it coming. I think most married people want to believe their spouses would, would never be unfaithful to them. The idea is just too painful even to just consider as a possibility. And so what happens is that when it hits them, they are blindsided. Before they know it, their marriages are falling apart. Infidelity can feel like a death. The death of trust, the death of affection, the death of all the work you've done in your marriage, the death of all your dreams and aspirations as a married couple. The grief that hits you can be worse than the grief for a dead loved one because no one dies by their choice. The depth of pain and grief that a grieved spouse falls into is hard to put behind. Hindi ito madaling mapapawi. Hindi agad-agad mawawala. Kadalasan, napakahirap ding ibalik yung tiwala sa asawang nagkasala, hindi ba? Bukod sa asawa, ang mga anak, apektado at lubos na nasasaktan din. They suffer in a very profound way. When children discover that their dad or their mom has been unfaithful, they may feel insecure in, in the relationship and suffer a loss of trust in their parent who cheated. Unfaithful parents may try to hide it, but, you know, kids can tell. They feel the tension that exists between their parents. If one of their parents walks out of their relationship, sometimes the children may feel responsible for the split. At kahit anong sabihin natin sa kanila, feeling nila sila ang dahilan kung bakit naghiwalay si mama at si daddy. They experience anger, shame, confusion, resentment. And if they don't get help, they will bear this inside, maybe for the rest of their lives. Because of this bad experience, when kids grow up, it becomes difficult for them to trust other people. Para sa kanila, lahat ng tao ay madaya at sinungaling. And their ability and willingness to be in loving relationships are affected as well. They no longer believe in marriage, and they will never fight for a relationship that is in danger of breaking up. They feel it is pointless to fight for it, because their parents didn't. Infidelity in marriage is such an evil thing to ever happen to a family. That's the reason why the writer of the book of Hebrews gave this firm command. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. If you are married, then I urge you to honor your marriage vows. Huwag mong hayaang may mamagitan ibang tao at marumihan ang inyong higaan. Be faithful to your spouse for the sake of your marriage, for the sake of the well-being of your children. For your sake, that you will not be ridden with guilt and shame. For the sake of God who has joined you together as husband and wife. As we learn to honor the sacred union of marriage, and as husbands and wives strive to keep themselves faithful to each other and not fall for the temptation of adultery, please keep in your heart and mind faith matters too.